how to make your own CRM with no code. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys step by step on how you can build your own CRM application and you don't need any technical skills. So what is this magic tool that can help us in doing so? Well, this magic tool is Base44. So Base44 is a platform that allows you to build no code applications. And these applications are easily used on devices, whether you're using a laptop, desktop, or a mobile device. So let's get started with Base44 so that you can sign up on Base44. Now, once you've signed up, this is going to be your basic prompt dashboard. Before we get into building our CRM, I want to show you guys all the features and the ways that you're going to be building your application. So this is going to be your prompt box where you enter the prompt of what type of CRM you're trying to build. Below that you have some app ideas and then after that we have my recent apps. This is one of the apps that I've created which is a simple task organizer. Then we also have the ability to add specific styling instructions. So they have a few styling instruction templates that you can use and you have the ability to attach your own files. So if you have any company data that you want to be using, you can add that over here. Now for complete functionality, you can click on integrations on the top and you have some pre-built integrations as well as connections to APIs, services, and tools with just a few clicks. What this allows you to do is that you can integrate any tool that you are using within your application. So if my CRM is supposed to be connected to my Google Calendar, I can easily search for calendar over here and see any calendar integration that I might want to be using. After that, you also have some app templates. Now there are several different niches available. We have marketing and sales templates, operation templates, data and analytics, and many other templates available so that you can get started within a few minutes. Now going back into apps, we're going to start building our first CRM application, but you don't want to get started by typing in your prompt. Instead, you want to go into ChatGPT or any other reasoning model and you're going to ask it a couple of questions. So what you're going to do is you're going to break down the core components that you want to include within your CRM. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask ChatGPT to and I'm just going to ask it to I'm building my own CRM application. I run a real estate business. What are the core features? my app needs and now it's going to further proceed with adding the core features now one thing to note is that if there is something that is in your mind so whenever i think of my real estate business maybe i have something along the lines of a separate section for gifts to our potential customers then i can include that within my application this is my application you don't need to follow the set and standard templates you can truly customize these however you want so i'm going to proceed and i'm just going to be copying these guidelines from here now instead of copying the guidelines what i can ask you to do is that I wanted to create a prompt to generate this app with all these features but I don't want to include all of them so let's say I want to remove the automations automation and workflows and now I'm just going to be proceeding on with my prompt so right now it is building my prompt excluding the automation and workflows project name real estate CRM platform web application and then we have our target users, agents, assistants, and managers, core modules, and features. Now I can copy this however I want. And then once I have copied it, I'm just going to wait for my entire prompt to be generated. And keep in mind that Base44 does have some limitations, so you're not going to be able to type in this entire thing if you are doing such a long prompt like this one over here. So instead, you might want to be connecting or simplifying this particular prompt. So you guys can see this is my entire prompt and it has added SMS, email integration. So we have technical requirements i'm going to remove the technical requirements because base 44 builds their apps in a different way it actually creates the front end of your website first and then uses some dummy data so i'm going to be taking my styling instructions and i want it to be a very professional material design style and then i'm just going to proceed once i click on this arrow it's going to start my conversation and start building my app for me so now we're just going to let it do the entire thing 
And these are the core features. You can see that Base44 will actually give you its own interpretation of the prompt that you have provided. And it includes lead management, property portfolio, deal pipelines, task and calendar systems, communication hubs, and a analytics dashboard. Now it's going to get started with creating our application. Now, another thing to note is that you can make all of your changes with the help of a prompt. You don't need to learn any code, but if you are someone that wants to be editing via code once your application is built, then you do have to upgrade to a premium version of Base44. So Base44 pricing has a variety. It starts at $20 and goes up to $200, and they even have a free version. Now, on the free version, you have only 25 monthly messages, 7 daily messages, and 500 integration credits. It's perfect for users who want to try the platform and explore all of its capabilities. It has access to all integration, authentication systems, analytics, and a database functionality. However, if you want to have full control over your application, the starter plan is going to be better with 100 monthly messages and 2,000 integration credits with unlimited number of apps and in-app code edits. Then you have custom domains and get have integration on their builder plan. The builder plan is what I recommend because it is something that is going to provide you with the full functionality, customization, and professional feel for your application. And if you want to get started for free, make sure to click on the link provided in the description box down below. Then they have their pro plan as well as elite plans. This includes premium support and early access to beta features. So now going back into our application, we're going to wait until our first app is completed and then we're going to test our application. So right now our application has been built. Now starting off, we're going to go into the preview version. You can click on the dashboard to see what it looks like. We have the app visibility, public login required, public no login, and then private login required. What this means is that if people can actually access your application right now, so I want this to be public, but it needs to require a login. Then you can send invites to your users as well, and then share your app as well. Then you're going to have a database of all your users. You can click on schema. And then you can see the schema role editor and invite your users. You have your general data, so you're able to add all of your data here. I'm just going to go into the preview section so we can actually see what our application looks like. So this is what the forefront looks like. We have leads, active properties, tasks, open deals, and total deal value. Then we have a recent activity tab and a upcoming task tab. Now the visibility on this is not very good. So I want to proceed further and I'm going to click on publish because there are a lot of differences between the published version of your application and the preview version of your application. So this is why it's really important to ensure that you are publishing your application and testing it out under publishing. So we're going to click on publish application and then view our CRM from here. Once we do that, we can sign up via Google or email. I'm just going to continue on with Google. This is going to be the same login that you use to create your Base44 account. And this is because I set my app as a login required application. If you set it up as completely public, then anyone would be able to access your application and you would have no historical record of who accessed and what exactly they did. That is why it's really important to also build user permissions and privacy because you want to ensure that you're able to build data sets where information from one user is not accessible to the other user. And this is a mistake that is made pretty often when people are first building their applications. So we're just going to proceed on with our publishing and it was published a minute ago. And then we can use the published version of our application. So I'm just going to proceed over here. And by default, you are added as a user within your application. And just like so, this is the live version of my application. Now on the left, the visibility is really bad. So I want to edit this and I can do this by typing in with my prompt. This is the menu that you guys can barely see. So the page was not found. This could mean that the AI hasn't implemented this change and ask it to implement it in chat. But first I need to improve the visibility. So for that, I can enter the prompt. That's not going to be necessary. All I need to do is click on visual edit. And then once I click on visual edit, I'm able to visually edit everything. And I can click on over here into these blocks and then just take a look at the background. I'm gonna change it to black. 
I'm basically going to be changing the background to black on this entire section just like so and now I have everything available so now it looks complete where we have our exit button we have our settings button the account as well as the name now I'm going to click on save over here on the bottom left and then I'm going to ask it to create all the other pages and now it's going to proceed with creation of our other pages and keep in mind that it does go through quite a few different iterations of your application it's not going to be something that instantaneously builds the perfect app for you you do need to play around with it a bit to find the perfect balance of functionality within your application so do make sure to test out your application thoroughly now, once you have proceeded with making any of your edits to your CRM, you can click on publish and then click on share and share your application. You guys can see that you have an activity monitor and you can see everything in your files as well as export your project to GitHub if you want. So if you are coding it yourself, if you're looking for code customizations, you can do that as well. So just like so, your CRM application is going to be ready for you. If you guys found this video helpful, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or queries, then make sure to leave those in the comments down below. And if you want to get started with building your own no-code CRM app, then make sure to click on the link provided in the description to get started. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.